This is my 2015 Yamaha Striker Bullet Cow Edition. Had several upgrades put on it here. Love this motorcycle. Love it. I've had it about a year. Put almost 9,000 miles on it. And I have no complaints <laughs> other than the back tire is expensive when you need it in a pinch. Uh, typically, dealers don't carry that size tire. But uh, as far as riding, any conditions, I've had this thing on the Dragon, the Moonshiner 28. Fortunately, I live in an area where we have some great curve riding, and this thing will just do it all. Highway speeds, no problem. Get tons of compliments on this motorcycle. It's, uh, definitely an eye catcher but, um, as far as for a first bike this would not be a good first bike in my opinion just because of the rake and uh, the wide back tire it was a definite learning curve for me getting used to the rake but, uh, you know it's like anything else once you get dialed in you, you know what it can do and you put it there but this bike will just flat out do it all. It, it screams down the highway faster than I need it to most of the time. Uh, highway speeds again is nice and stable. No problems at all. Even over 100 mile an hour is just stuck to the road. And uh, The cow it actually works. It uh, keeps a lot of wind off your chest. I'm 5'9", so you know I'm not really feeling any wind except right directly on my face. And with full face down most of the time, it's, it's not a problem at all. Uh, seat comfort is, you know, just like anything else, once you're on it, I don't care what it is, if you're on it for eight hours, the butt's gonna get a little sore. But uh, I love the seat position. Uh, I've actually got a set of detachable backrest and luggage rack combo for the wife. Uh, riding double up is no problem at all. Plenty of power there. Uh, she likes the tall backrest, fits her, hits her right where it needs to. It's nice and comfortable. Got the uh, Vanson Hines pipes on here. Kuryakin air cleaner. Power Commander auto tuner. Avon grips. I cannot remember what kind of rear view mirrors those are, but they're fairly cheap. Uh, the tail light is an expensive item, but well worth it. It's from uh, Low and Mean. This hooks right there along the bottom of the fender. And then side mount plate from TC Brothers. So, but done a few things to it. Done them right off the bat too. And uh, I've been enjoying it. Like I say, for the past year. Beat in almost 9,000 miles and she's still going strong. Thank you.